Hi, we are Georg and Linus from the University of Paderborn. In our project, we extended a xilinx zinc based prosthesis controller developed in our group by accelerating the most time-consuming step in hardware using Vivado HLS. We evaluated our system using real signals from an amputee and a real prosthesis. And here you can see our system. The movement classification process begins with the acquisition of the muscle activity signals. 192 sensors are attached on the amputee's residual limb and the signals are acquired by a DEC device. The data are sent to the zinc via a PC used for communication. The entire prosthesis controller is implemented on the zinc. First, the data are pre-processed on the arm. Next, four kinds of features are extracted from the data. This is the most time-consuming step, so we used Vivado HLS to develop a FPGA core for parallel processing. Finally, a pattern recognition classifier predicts the intended movement, which is sent to a commercial prosthesis via Bluetooth by the PC. Our system operates in two phases. In the training phase, a MATLAB program on the PC displays different movements to our test subject to contract the muscles in his residual limb accordingly. The signals are used to train a classifier. Our subject also moves the sound arm in the same way so we can see what movement he intends to perform. In the classification phase, our test subject can finally start using the prosthesis. The EMG signals are classified and the predicted movement is sent to the prosthesis. On the left side, you can see the debug output of our system. Small misclassifications are filtered by a majority vote. Finally, this last experiment demonstrates that the amputee is able to use our system to solve a real-world task like stacking cups.